Welcome or welcome back and I need help at C square. In this example we need to find the vertices and the foci of an hyperbola. And we notice here we start with y square minus x square. That is very important because that should tell you that the y axis is the focal axis. So whenever you see y square minus x square the y-axis is the focal axis. So now I'm going to take this 25. I'm going to say b squared equals 25. And I'm going to find that b, which is plus or minus square root of 25, which is going to be plus or minus 5. And the next thing I'm going to find out is a squared. a squared is 21. I need this a squared for finding c squared, which is going to be nothing else than a squared plus b squared, in this case 25 plus 21, that will be 46. So c is going to be taking square root plus or minus square root of 46, which cannot be simplified. And now we have this algebraic way to find the vertices and the forces of an uh, hyperbola for which the focal axis is the y-axis but also let's take a look at the picture because that's usual the way I do it first thing I know the center is 0 and 0 for this type of uh, hyperbola which is right here and then I'm looking to this B and going 5 up and 5 down I get the vertices and then I'm looking to this C and I go square root of 46 and uh, up and down and I get the foces uh, and if you notice we have two lines here which are the asymptotes of these hyperbolas which you can get the equation looking to this form y will be plus or minus b which is 5 over a which is square root of 21 x if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to click the like button and come back and see square for more help. Thank you.